hello everyone so in the last video we built out this page which is the mobile apps page so in this video we're going to begin to build out the office page and i'm not going to do this first part instead i'm going to begin it from here where the title says paypal is a better way to pay and i'm going to mention that i think the link changed or they updated something on their website because according to the structure that we built in the first video we have a forward slash shopping and the element the page that we want is the shopping page but i'm trying to look at the links here and i can't see the shopping page so i'm just thinking they probably just updated something anyways we're going to do this page and this page has the following structure so it has the top part here obviously i don't want to do this but we're going to start from here so paypal is a better way to pay so let's begin we are going to go inside the shopping.js file and then we are going to return a fragment and then we're going to return a section a section and then this section is going to have a div and then this div is going to have articles now these articles are going to be this one and this one so what i want to do therefore is inside the article i want to return an image okay the image we're going to get the image source right away and then below this we're going to have an h3 that says buyer protection protection and then below this h3 we're going to have a paragraph that says this so copy and paste it and then below this paragraph we're going to have a button that says learn more i think yes so learn more and then we're going to grab this article and copy it down and then we're just going to change the text so this text says this so spread the cost spread the cost and then this text paste it here and then learn more is the button and then below this button we're going to have a small tag that says this copy and paste it here okay and then let's go ahead and grab the images the first one is a shield and then this is the paypal credit so i'm going to say import shield from dot dot slash dot dot slash images forward slash um, shopping forward slash the name of the image is what shopping the name of the image is hmm. i think it's this paper blue icon let's see pp dash blue dash icon dot png and then i'm going to copy this down change this into credit because that is the name of the second image and the image is called credit dash blue dash icon and it is also a png image and then for the first article we want to render a shield and then for the second article we want to render credit let's save it and then let's see what we have on the screen in our application we are going to navigate into forward slash shopping and we should be able to see something on the screen but this is going to load and load until tomorrow so let me cut it to when it loads in okay there we go so we have our section here and then all we need to do now is just style it out so let's begin with the mobile version first and the mobile version is going to be styled as follows we're going to be inside this div give this div a class name of padding on the x of 8 padding on the y of 10 10 and then for large screens we're going to say padding on the y of 20 and then to limit everything we're going to give it a max width of 6xl and mx auto so that everything centers properly and actually not what am i doing these classes shouldn't be here they should be in the section so cut them out and paste them here and then on the div we're going to give this div a class name of grid and grid columns one with a gap of eight to separate out these articles and then we're going to say text center for everything and then save it let's see what we have okay there we go so the images are not centered let's fix that by going inside this image give this a class name of block and mx auto which is going to center it and then let's copy these classes and then paste them on the bottom image and then save it and they should be centered fantastic and then let's style this h3 give this a class name of text dash 3xl and then let's say text slate dash 700 and then margin bottom of four and then let's copy these class names and paste them on the bottom h3 okay and then let's tell up this button so give this button a class name of text blue dash 600 and font dash bold 
and then let's see let's see let's say that on hover let's have an underline and then let's copy these classes and paste them on the bottom button and then let's change this small into a block element and a block element so that it is no longer here but it is going to go into the next line so when i save it then that should do it would you look at that looking nice 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 and then now that it's a block element let's add a margin top of about four push away from the button just a bit and then inside this paragraph we're going to give this paragraph a class name of margin bottom of eight push away from the button and then we're going to go inside this top paragraph and do the same thing so give this a class name of margin bottom of eight push away from this fantastic and the the headings need to be lighter font the headings need to, uh, to be lighter font and then let me reduce it to, to excel and then let me also say right here let me say font dash light and then on the bottom h3 here let's say font dash light save it and there we go much much better and then on large screens we just want to display them as a grid so right at around here we want them to display as a grid so i'm going to say that for medium screens then the grid column should be two and they're going to display side by side fantastic and then when you maximize the screen you can see they don't get to the end that is because of the max width that we have placed on them and that is this section right here oh wait a minute we don't have the title so paypal is a better way to pay how did we forget the title let's add an h2 it says paypal is it paypal is a better way to pay with the console no okay save it let's start it out give this a class name last name of text dash for xl and then for large screens text dash 5 xl and then let's say margin bottom of 10 and then text dash slate dash 700 or 800 and then font dash light and then text dash center that should do it oh, i'm on the wrong screen there we go so we have this right here okay margin bottom 10 is a bit too small let me say margin bottom 20. just make it bigger for no reason but i think it looks better or rather i can say margin bottom of 10 on small screens and then for large screens then the margin bottom of 20. so that you don't have a very big margin on mobile screens and so that is that section and then next we're going to create this one so not a paypal member yet and i'm just going to do it inside this very same article not article really but inside this very same section uh sorry below this section what am i saying below this section we're going to put another section with a class of radial gradient gradient remember when we were building the homepage, we created a class of radial gradient which had this blue color so that's why i've added it in and then we're going to have an h2 with this very same classes so let's just copy this and paste it here Oh, wrong paste it here and then below this we're going to have a paragraph that says paper is more secure copy and paste it and then below this paragraph we're going to have a button that says sign up and save it and then let's see what we have on the screen we should have this right here okay so let's begin to style it out first of all let's add a padding on the x of 8 a padding on, or, or a padding on the y of 10 and speak and then on large screens let's say a padding on the y of 20 and save it hmm. was that a good idea oh, wait a minute where is this h2 where is this h2 this one copy and paste i was wondering how come this space is uh, quite big so i didn't notice it let's save it and then let's see what we have this one we need the text to go back to white so text white and then here we need the class name text dash white and then for that screens text dash large save it and then we need mm, <laughs> let me see text center text center should bring it here but i don't want this margin bottom 20 so remove it so that this space is reduced just a bit and then need to break this button here mm. so 
so for the button let's give it a class name of block and mx auto with the bg white with the text slate uh, sorry text yeah text slate because i want the text to be darker text slate 800 and font dash bold and then on hover we want it to have uh wait on hover i can make it animate so animate dash pulse which is an animation that tailored has and then what else we need the padding on the y to be 4 padding on the x to be 16 with a rounded of 4 save it let's see what we have should be here okay this padding is a bit too small or oh, padding on the y of 4 not ppy okay increase this to 32 how big is that okay let's reduce this to 3 and then let's add the margin top margin top to be 8 to push it away from the paragraph okay too small 10 would you look at that looking nice 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 and that is this section complete and then next we are going to go wait this is a bit too small it's a bit too small let's say text xl so next let's go ahead and build up this part so stay up to date so once again below this section we're going to create another section and then below this section we're going to have an h2 that says uh, which class is this one copy and paste them here reduce this oh wait we can still have it in because the margin here is a bit big and then it says stay up to date stay up to date and then we're going to have a ul with how many list items four of them so ul times four and then each of these is going to have an image and the source for these images we're going to get them because i have already downloaded them so we're going to say the first one is called facebook and then twitter and then youtube and then instagram and then let's go ahead and grab those images so on top let's import Import. if i can just spell it facebook from dot slash images forward slash shopping forward slash it is called let's see facebook.png and then we have twitter wait a minute copy this down change this into twitter and then youtube and then instagram and then change this into twitter underscore two dot png and then for youtube we're going to say u underscore tube underscore three make sure you get the spellings correct and then instagram underscore five okay let's go ahead and save it and let's begin to style this house so give this a class name of uh, flex and item center and justify center and flex wrap and then with the gap of let's say 16 and then save it let's see let's see what you have current resolve facebook.png what is the image called facebook.png what did they write okay facebook there we go and then we are going to have this would you look at that looking nice 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 and then let's go below this section inside this section give it a class name of padding on the x of 8 padding on the y of 10 and then for large screens padding on the y of 20 and then we're going to have that would you look at that just make sure that it looks okay on small screens right around there you can see it is because of flex rock that this is here looking quite quite nice 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 okay and then what do we have next for the next section we have terms of use da, da, da. i don't see whether this is necessary to you to do because this is uh, paper stuff you know uh hmm. well, it has a background color this has a background color this section let's say bg slate dash 100 that should be it yeah that's the background color and then let's add a margin bottom to push away from the footer so let's say margin bottom 20 push away from the footer here okay fantastic and that is this page complete and then what we're going to do therefore is in the next video um let me see next video we're going to start on the business 
we're going to start on the business tab and we're going to start with all business solutions which is the merchant tab okay looking nice 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 looking quite nice if i do say so myself so yeah see you in the next video